<laughs> Hi everyone, we're Gillette's India marketing team. So why should Gillette go to India? India has the second largest population after China with 1.3 billion people, and it accounts for 17.84% of the total world population. India has the first largest hairy population and the largest middle class in the world. India also has the largest population of youth and the number one projected annual growth for a working population. India is a brick nation, which gives them a huge potential um, for growth in a lucrative market. It also has a huge market for costly products, and we'll discuss more reasons as the presentation follows. I'm going to now discuss the SWOT analysis and how the SWOT will align with Gillette moving to India. So first we're going to talk about the strengths. The strengths that Gillette has, it has the three-bladed safety razor, which is easy to use and it increases the safety. It also has a very strong brand image and it has P and G backing it, which means they'll be able to su financially support them with whatever endeavors they have in India. The company is also very innovative and can adapt quickly, which will be important when it comes to the differences between the US and India. The weaknesses that it'll have there is that the razors do cost more than the competition, which wouldn't be very good if people can buy the cheaper one if they can't afford the Gillette razors. And the razors also have a longer lifespan. Normally this would be a good thing, but in India they are very frugal and they like to reuse things a lot as much as they can. So that will reduce the resaling to the same people again opportunities this country is a developing economy it's going to be an emerging economy and that means it's just going to keep growing and growing with the economic wealth that it has it has a vast population that people there are hairy and they do shave which is very important and it also has the ability to set a quality standard when going to India all these mom and pop shots there's different qualities in the razors once Gillette goes there, they'll set the standard like, yes, this is Gillette quality and things can be compared off of that. Along with all the imports and exports that the country does, this will allow Gillette easier access to uh, bringing in all the equipment that they need. The threats are, as previously stated, the low cost competition that can undersell them and make it harder for Gillette to maintain a foothold. There's also the new entrance, which is other shaming companies I'm sure have looked at this country and thought about moving there as well. So if they see Gillette doing well, they can easily come over and do the same thing. There's also barriers to entry, which includes some of the laws that are a little more difficult to work around in India than in the U.S. Here at India Gillette, we strive to achieve the highest degree of safety, efficiency, and innovation in personal care globally while pursuing constant improvement in design to fit the unique needs of every man and women's shaving and grooming habits. Next, we're going to cover the Hofstede values. First, we're going to cover masculinity. India and U.S. do have very similar masculinity, so Gillette's not going to have to worry about this too much, and it is considered a somewhat masculine culture. Now we're gonna look at long-term orientation. There is a difference here. Uh, India is much uh, more inclined to think long-term instead of the US. They also have an issue with punctuality. So when managers are over there, flexibility with a sense of planning is gonna be considered in the training. Indulgence is another factor that Gillette's gonna have to look into. Uh, India scored lower. That means they have more restraint and control. They don't wanna appear too luxurious and they're gonna be a little more frugal. We're gonna look at some major points here that do affect the culture significantly. Uh, they have a high power index and a, a low independent score, and they have a, a low um, uncertainty avoidance. So first we're gonna look at the power distance. There is a much greater power distance there, and there's more focus in the strength of hierarchy and acceptance of unequal rights. Individualism, they're not as individualistic as the US, so there's gonna be more emphasis on the group. And uncertainty avoidance, uh, 
there's something special about India with the Surti Devoyants that's going to be touched on in a later part, along with the other two that do are that are going to affect management. How do cultural values and attitudes affect consumer behavior in India? Family and group orientation is key in India. The importance of family in Indian culture is due to the shared cultural value of cooperation deriving from a historical need for collaboration as a means to survival. An example of highlighting this concept is the purchase of a vehicle. In the American culture, consumers view a vehicle as a personal and a capsule for identity. An exponential majority of Indian consumers have a great collective mentality towards purchasing a vehicle and refer to the aspects and con components of the vehicle that and best and most suitably fulfill the needs of family members rather than unique features that capture the individual es essence of the driver. The value placed on family, interdependence, and cooperation leads to a high degree of solidarity, which increases intergroup competition. So with this said, most uh, goods that are bought are for the family. They, they first think of their family before themselves. Regarding this, anything they buy of status is to show the status of the family rather than the status of themselves, which, uh, which highlights their place in the caste. India is extremely value oriented. There's a greater importance for value over price. So if the features of a product justify their price, then Indian consumers are willing to buy that, buy that product. A big part of value orientation is attention to detail and efficiency justifies the price that is set for, for every product. Using incremental values such as the safety of the razor over brand reputation will appeal to this value orientation. There's been a shift from traditionally modest to modern materialistic consumer culture. This is due to Western influence and a gravitation from modesty towards materialism uh, to define one's status and class and of their family and society. Today, the work hard, get rich lifestyle is key in Indian culture. Consumer behavior related to product. India has a new generation of consumers in which men are ditching hairy faces and women are encouraging them. This new generation believes that the mustache represents old India and they want to leave that behind. With increasing disposable incomes, consumers are paying attention to personal grooming. Personal care appliances are expected to grow due to current trends. A current trend in India is investing more money and time into their well-groomed look. Men are demanding products designed for them with a focus on product functionality. Weddings are important to the culture. With extravagant scenery, everyone is dressed to impress. Typically, men shave to look dapper for the special day. Purchasing has changed from purely cost-centric products to value for money on to looking for products that give experiences. With buzzwords such as quality and reliability, consumers are willing to seek solutions and aspirations for paying a higher price. This better focus on hygiene and grooming isn't just a trend, it is a lifestyle shift that Gillette is ready to capitalize on. A common enemy for those that are hygienic is the poor sa uh, sanitation in India. Through exposure of Western lifestyles and standards, popularity for products such as razors, hair dryers, and beard trimmers are rising. Due to the poor sa sanitation in India, consumers prefer a safer shave rather than a smoother shave to avoid painful cuts that can become infected. To avoid these cuts, some consumers travel to barbers for a straight razor shave, which I will later explain how Gillette is combating. Careers are as important to Indians as they are for Americans. In 2013, there were 20.3 million students enrolled in higher education, and 86% of them were graduating and entering the workforce. These young profession professionals need to be clean-shaven to pursue a pr promising career. Next, we're going to talk about foreign competitors and why India is the superior choice over them all. Right now, the domestic market, which include Canada and Mexico, the market is in a mature stage, which means it is highly competitive and it's very saturated. Also, Gillette is known for their costlier razors, and there's a lot more cheaper razors that are available. Next, we're going to talk about the European section. They kind of have the same problem as the domestic markets. They're in the mature life cycle. There's high competition. The markets are saturated, and there's low switching costs between different razors. Also, in Germany, they make their own high-quality razors, Harry's. And a lot of times, the Germans probably not going to buy American products because they perceive them as inferior quality. 
Next is going to be Russia. They have a poor economy. They're having sanctions brought against it by the U.S. There's instability, and there's vast amounts of space between cities and towns, so distribution might be difficult. And they're also possibly going to war with NATO countries, which brings in Turkey, because they're possibly going to war with Syria, and we, it's very bad to do business in countries that are in a war zone. That goes along for the Middle East. There's instability. There's wars going on in different locations. And also they are mostly Muslims, which means they do not shave. Lastly, we're going to talk about Central America. They have poor economies. Their population is not as great. They have a lot of political corruption. Australia and their nearby countries, the population is not as big. It's going to be more costly to transport goods there. And there may be already competitors there as well. Lastly, China and other Asian countries around them, they do have very good populations. But as you can see, that their ethnicity is not hairy at all. To appeal to all consumers of India, Gillette is bringing a deep and wide assortment of products. Gillette's products will resemble the American products, but will vi with variations targeted for India. As mentioned in the SWOT analysis, consumers sharpen their dull blades, so a key variation to Gillette's razors will be to make, ac to make access to the blades inaccessible, preventing consumers from sharpening or altering the blades manually. Premium products for Gillette will be the Pro Glide with Flex Ball, a five-bladed razor that rotates depending on placement of face for a safer shave. This will appeal to consumers with high disposable income or those wanting the best shave. Importance of colors will be explained in the next slide, but until then, packaging, co packaging colors for the Gillette Pro Glide with Flex Ball will be blue and gold. Other razors, Mach 3, with three blades and the vector with two blades are appealing to the huge middle class due to their affordable quality. Gillette will also be bringing a one-bladed razor named Gillette Guard, which is designed specifically for India. The one blade safety comb and pivoting head ensure the best safety with the least expensive shave. Packaging will be green to illustrate affordability. Gillette Styler and Gillette Body will be targeted for those pursuing their best look with safety. As mentioned previously, the new trend is to be as well-groomed as possible, and these will attest to those. Gillette is introducing two new products, the Gillette Flat Razor and Gillette Ujala. The Flat Razor will be sold exclusively to barber shops so that consumers that prefer a barber shave still use a Gillette Razor. Gillette will be engraved on the product to ensure word of sight marketing. The second product, Gillette Ujala, with Ujala meaning clean or pure, is a standard wax which will be infused with rose water. Rose water isn't only a favorable aroma for Indian women, but also has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and cleaning properties, ensuring the best waxing product. Also, the Venus razor will be targeted for women so they have a razor alternative. Creams will be the fu Fusion Hydrogel Sensitive Skin, which will be branded and packaged to match Pro Glide razor with the intent to create brand awareness, as well as regular tube and foam to provide for all consumer preferences. The importance of color in India is incredible. India is one of the most color-oriented nations in the world. Each color holds holds its own values and symbols. For example, the color blue symbolizes bravery, manliness, and is the national cricket team's color. Gillette's signature blue will be linked to mas masculinity. Green symbolizes happiness and new beginnings, new beginnings, as well as gold symbolizing luxury, holiness, wealth. The color yellow symbolizes knowledge and meditation. Feminine products will be packaged in pink or red, with red symbolizing purity, fertility, prosperity, and positive energy. The lotus flower will also accompany the Gillette logo in every product directed towards women. The lotus, lotus flower holds value in Hindu culture as the symbol of feminine beauty, divinity, and eternity while serving as a metaphor for life and renewing youth. Any and all packaging or bundling is developed, marketed, and presented ordinarily. Products will be bundled to offer variety and savings. ProGlide razors will bundle with the Fusion Hydrogel to condition consumers into a premium Gillette lifestyle. 
Mach 3, Body, and Venus razors will be bundled with their replaceable razors. Vector and Gillette Guard will be bundled with Gillette Mirror and 5 milliliter classic shave foams for the rural consumers. Price decisions. Initial price points. Price should be relatively cheap to make Indian consumers to buy products regularly. The least expensive product can be sold in India, such as Gillette Guard, is 22 Indian rupee, which is 33 cents. Uh, the most expensive product is Pro Glide with Flexball, with is 499 Indian rupee, uh, which is 7.5 US dollar. So the price range is 22 Indian rupee, 33 cents, to 499 Indian rupee, 7.5 US dollars. Uh, there are some types of uh, um, discount Gillette can offer. Percent discount, fixed amount discount. Discount for next purchase will work to make uh, consumers come back to local Gillette stores repeatedly. Limited time discount. And combination discount happens, for example, uh, when customers buy sh razor and razor cream at the same time. Coupon, where to get. Uh, Gillette can provide coupon with newspaper, electronic, sports magazine, movie magazine, theater, cricket stadium. Uh, about theater and cricket stadium, uh, I will talk about more soon. Types of coupon. Free shipping coupon. Reward program. Customers can collect points and they can get product for free utilizing reward. As Gillette um, utilizes coupon, it can relate to cricket games, which is the most favorite pastime for Indians, for, and Bollywood movie theater. Uh, Gillette can give away coupons at cricket stadium as Gillette uses cricket players in its commercial message. Or it can give away a, at Bollywood movie theater as Gillette supports Bollywood movies. Uh, reversely, customers of Gillette can get discount for movie tickets or cricket game tickets per purchase of Gillette products. This way helps people um, get credibility and familiarity, familiarity with Gillette products instantly through coupon. Um, also, um, Gillette can deliver a flyer with coupon per household for family. India's target markets will include the rural market, the youth and young yo uh, workforce, socialite and upper class, and a conservative middle class. Three-fourths of India's population lives in a rural area. The rural area holds one-third of the nation's income, and there's an emergence of the rural market for several basic consumer goods. The rural area is growing 3-4% to 4 annually, adding 1 million new consumers per year, now accounting for 50% of the volume consumption of fast-moving consumer goods, such as razors. The market size of the fast-moving consumer goods sector is over $24 million U.S. million in India's rural market. of consumers in India are below the age of 25 and 65 are below the age of 35. There are 1.2 billion individuals in the age group between 20 to 35. India's young and educated workforce holds jobs in firms, corporations, and fields with Western standards of, of conduct that require the uh, pro projection of a clean cut and presentable image of all employees through proper grooming of facial hair. India's socialite and upper class is brand conscious and will remain loyal to brands of quality and status. India has the largest middle class and it's, and it's continuing to grow. We can build brand loyalty in India by first introducing a product at a lower cost, get them used to using the product, condition them, and once they are used to the efficiency and functionality of the product, we can slowly start to raise prices as they remain value oriented. India's conservative middle class seeks durability and is slow in decision making, so there must be a great amount of information in ads. Working women are 21% of the urban workforce, and although this is a small percentage, they hold an independent disposable income that must be tapped. Branding, image development, and promotional decisions. With regards to ads, India is slow and submissive. This is due to their high power distance and collectivist culture. 
We can project ads in HBO Asia, which includes India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines. These are all considered some submissive, so the same ads can be used and just dubbed over in the required language. The audience's attitudes will be mellow, and they won't like jokes, so we should not use humor, and we won't be comical in the ads. Potential slogans include Gillette, best in quality, forefront in innovation. Gillette, make every day your special day. Or Gillette, make every day that special day. Gillette, generation after generation of ingenuity. Video ads will mostly appeal to family values and the idea of marriage and, their, and the importance of Here are two examples of ads. First, two families meet to arrange a marriage for their son and daughter. All members of each family are present. The setting is lavish and both families are shown to be high class. One father is portrayed as dissatisfied and not accepting of the other family or their offer. He shows the utmost disapproval and discontent at his wife and his family members as they try to sway his opinion. He excuses himself from his seat and leaves with a sense of slight anger and condemnation on his face. He enters the bathroom, splashes water on his face, and grabs a sink while looking down in deep thought. As he's looking down, a golden Gillette razor catches his eye. He grabs the razor, holds it up, looking at it with a smile. The scene transitions to him re-entering the room while everyone looks at him anxiously. He turns and faces the other father. He then smiles, wobbles his head in approval, and, and in acceptance. The scene erupts in joy and the two fathers are shown sharing a firm handshake and a smile. The following is uh, appealing to their value for marriage. Scene. Commercial begins with an intimate scene of a mother preparing her young daughter for the first day of school. The scene transitions to an emotional mother on the day of her daughter's high school or graduation. The first scene we see, the final scene we see the daughter grown and being prepared for her wedding day by her friends and family. She's dressed fully in red, and the room is red and gold, red portraying femininity and purity, gold representing luxury and elegance. The bride seems anxious and nervous. Mother enters the room and hands her daughter Gillette wax and Venus razor on a gold platter. A feeling of relief is shown on the bride's face as, a, as, a, as the mother and daughter share a smile. Printed ads will be presented at cricket games in the form of banners. And a popular printed ad would be of a shaver versus barber situation. And this is as follows. An overarching problem in India, uh, India's shaving culture is a lack of quality razors leading to injuries while shaving, as stated previously. Therefore, consumers are turning to barbers and relying on them for a clean and safe shave. Gillette, in order to be successful in penetrating the Indian market, must market products in a way that highlights the power of the shaver. And Gillette must make it clear that any individual has the same skills and abilities as a barber if they use a Gillette razor. There will be an ad depicting this idea as follows. A printed image of an average man shaving in front of a mirror. His reflection in a mirror, rather than being only of him, is an image of him being shaven by a barber. The printed image is accompanied by slogans such as Gillette, be your own barber, or Gillette, the grooming power of a barber, in your hands. The message is Gillette, simply safe. Point of purchase marketing will be vibrant and relatable in order to catch consumers' attention and appeal directly to consumers' root and culture. The two prominent point of purchase ads will be the Namaste Wobbling Head and the Shiva. The Namaste Wobbling Head will be a life-size cutout of a man in blue and woman in red, placing the stores with the Namaste gesture portraying a warm greeting and the Wobbling Head symbolizing yes or okay as a gesture of acceptance. A life-size cutout of Shiva painted fully blue will be presented with multiple arms holding every Gillette product being marketed in India. Gillette's public relations team has two movements. The first, Gillette goes to college. Sponsors underprivileged yet highly intelligent and capable youth to attend universities. The second public relations movement will be Gillette for a greater good. 
This sponsor will implement better water supply in rural areas as well as implement running water. Consumers both in large and small towns desire wide ranges of products that are not easily stocked by local shops. This niche can be filled by American companies through e-commerce. This is possible due to the exponential rise in smartphones. E-commerce websites in India include Flipkart, founded by former Amazon employees, Snapdeal, Amazon, and HomeShop18. With a high degree of cultural, language, religious, climate, eating, grooming, and clothing diversity in habits in India, sales and data can portray to the company the habits of different segments of the market and their greatest likings, likings and desires. This is facilitated by the use of smartphones and social media. Placement decisions. Thankfully, the United States and India signed the Ease of Doing Business Agreement, which guarantees a great relationship between the two countries. Gillette plans to have products placed in each city and town. Placement nearby universities will ensure tapping into young demographics, while placing in major cities will reach urban markets. Distributing into small grocers, street vendors, and mom and pop shops will place Gillette in rural consumer hands. Major stores such as Reliance Fresh will provide us into large customer bases. Value and variety stores, which caters to all price ranges, and Barty Retail, which will reach across the country. In terms of external trading and facilitation, relationships with the European Union and the Association of Southeast Asian Nations will support future growth and market penetration for India and Gillette. These relationships will connect India with France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, UK, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, and incredibly more. The agreements with the EU and ASEAN ensure trusted markets for goods and services, powerful frameworks for investments, and sustainable development for growth and trade. So how will Gillette break into the Indian consumer market? Gillette will leverage India's supply chain by manufacturing products in India. Gillette will choose between third-party contract manufacturers to produce the razors and products. Shipping will then decrease to only that of raw material. Once sales are high, we will invest in a Gillette factory. And a low cost of manufacturing units will increase profitability, draw prices, and then boost volume growth. Once in India, we will, n we will need to know how to manage Indian employees. High power distance combined with uncertainty avoidance, there's a high level of control that we can utilize to control our employees in India. Business roles as stated are formal and hierarchical. Deci decisions are made top down. And there's an importance of relationship over contracts. Negotiations are non-confrontational and, and it is rare to overtly disagree. Decision is always reached by person with the most authority. Decision making is a slow process and it takes time, unlike in America. Losing temper in India means losing face and deems one unworthy of respect and trust. Concessions are expected with regards to price and terms, and it should not appear overtly legalistic during negotiations due to India's lack of trust of law. Given the expanse of this undertaking, it is estimated the cost will be around $3 million. This is to cover all the equipment, people, and infrastructure set up that must go to India. The return on investment might be slow in the first few years, but as India continues to grow, those returns will grow exponentially as well. Therefore, India should be the country of choice. Thank you.